So number one, fixing the holes on the base. All you need is a metal scraper, a bit of PTEX and a lighter. First of all, take out, scrape a bit to make sure that nothing sticks out. Number two, light up, boom. Let it drip a bit, now we're good. And you fill your hole. It's good to press it. <clears throat> now we're gonna let it cool down, come and scrape it later. Step number two, while this is cooling down, we're gonna do the edges. So all you need is an angle, a file, a stone, and a rubber. First step is to clean the edges, especially when you've been hitting rocks. The magic trick, a little water. I never have water, so I spit on it. <laughs> clean the base first. Up. Like this. Yeah. Needs to feel smooth and not cut you. Up and then the edge. And then the file, a bit of filing, up. If you really are a perfectionist, then you can take a bit of angle off the middle of your split board, so which is the straight edge. You're gonna take a file, you're gonna put a little bit of tape around it. It angles it a little bit so that my edge will be a little angled compared to the base so that when the base is flat, the middle edge will not catch. This is really nice, actually. So when getting a brand new board, a good thing to do is to detune a little bit your nose and tail. So I usually stop at the point of contact, a little rub until you have absolutely no grip. That will make your board free and fast. Ding. Not the finest job, but it will work. Boom, ready to wax. Third step is taking care of the base so that you're gonna have a board that glides and that is nice, that feels good under the feet. So you need a few things. So a brush, pretty important actually, a scraper, a block of wax and an iron. I usually use universal wax because it's gonna be working in every condition. It's not gonna be the top of the racy, best stuff you've ever had, but it's gonna be really universal. Put a little bit of wax everywhere. You could take the iron from your grandmother. And um, in terms of temperature, you need to have it warm enough so that it melts the wax, but so that it doesn't smoke. Always in the direction of gliding, front, tail. It's important to really take all the wax away from the base because when you're gonna put your skins on, if you haven't been riding before, the, the wax could be sticking to the glue and that's the end of your skins. So watch on this one. And then to finish, the brush will take out all the extra wax and will make everything slide really well. So this is it, ready for new adventures. Make the effort, I guarantee you, you will not regret it.